First, we tried being lovely and evil genius, and came unstuck because of a painting. But now we're back with a whole new game, and we won't take You've Gotta Be Evil for an answer. That's right, we're trying it again. Just because it's called Evil Genius 2, it's all about taking over the world with a super weapon built from the profits of a global crime spree, and is the sequel to a game we've already tried being lovely in and failed. All of that doesn't mean we won't try being completely lawful good, ethical business moguls all over again. So it's time to find out what happens if you just refuse to be evil in Evil Genius 2. If you're new here, hi! Consider subscribing if you think you might like to see more. Now, let's get lovely everyone. That's what you pay me for. <laughs> right, so we've started a new game, Clean Slate. Zero evil done so far. And we've got a loose objective of earning enough money to just make a really big, profitable casino. But we've also got some problems. Because the very first objectives in the campaign involve some serious wrongdoing. Not the Inner Sanctum tiles, although in Maximilian's case there has to be some sort of law against this flooring. But no, the other ones, the side stories, you know, the ones that have you go and kidnap honest, hardworking people from around the world and then torture them to death so that you unlock new minion types. And we can live without guards, probably, if we're not planning to do anything wrong, but we're going to really need those valets. The valets that you get by bundling someone into a van, taking them down here and murdering them, which seems borderline wrong to me. Oh well, if you want to make an omelette, you've got to crack a few femurs. So we get the valets, but it's weighing heavy on the conscience how we got them. Plus, if we want to unlock more stuff and earn serious money, that prison cell's seeing a lot more action, isn't it? No, 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 no. A change of approach is needed. An intruder has given us their secrets. Okay, back to the drawing board then. What if we started a new game in sandbox mode? That way we've got everything we need to build this uh, super ethical casino holiday resort right away. No valets need beating to death and the money comes free. Well, that does make it easier to build a heartrendingly wholesome lair. While most minions sleep in massive cold communal rooms in groups of ooh, 90, what we've done here is mix a kind of chic uptown hotel vibe with the living essentials of minion life. The dorms are four to a room and enjoy space heaters while the luxury rooms feature the ultimate in privacy, luxury and uh, a chair. Similarly, look at this flipping infirmary! You could be paying into Booper for decades and not see a whiff of healthcare this good. Over to the main event though, the casino floor. We've extended the default plan of Montana's Gemellis Casino area and absolutely filled it with slot machines, a private backroom for high rollers and an actual amphitheatre for our top musical talent. Bit quiet though, isn't it? While technically we've done no wrong here, depending on how exactly our limitless budget was brokered, we're also lacking that flow of holiday makers and absolutely furious investigators to distract. It's a success then, but we can do better. So we need a third attempt to really make this stick. Here's the strategy this time. Take a save game from deep into the campaign, many evils done, many body bags incinerated, and turn it all around. Here we can see Ivan's lair is quite the embodiment of nastiness. Super weapon, check. Pile of bodies just laying in a corridor while people impassively shuffle past, check. Prison, loads of weapon dispensers, tables full of angry mercs. This place has got the lot. Except, uh, power. Our heat's so high from all the dastardly acts that FOJ are always sneaking in and disabling our generators. Basically, we're so evil we can't even keep the lights on. This is the perfect place to start turning it all around from. Our aim here is to cease all operations on the global stage, making all of our money instead from the casino, and still turn a profit even with a sizeable workforce. Job creation is good, you see. So our first job is to, and it hurts me to even look at this, Destroy all of our global networks on the map. Ooh, that smarts. No more passive income from undetermined crimes. With that done, we can sell all the kit in our sizeable control rooms, pocketing quite a bit of cash in the process, which will then be useful for when we want to do up the casino a bit. The prison can go too, since we won't be holding anyone, and there shouldn't even be anyone to hold. And all these sinister armories need getting rid of too. Even the training room gets a makeover. With no need for guards or mercs, we sell the trainers and make room for more valet trainers. We'll need a lot of those. 
With the money we've earned from selling all that stuff, we revamped the casino. Firstly, placing Lady Liberty's torch in there, since we can't sell loot items or return them to their rightful place. At least this way, the public can enjoy it. Same goes for that piggy ride. The floor show gets some seating, slot machines fill what we're now calling the Liberty Room, and the valets are flooding in. Finally, we can turn off a bunch of power, since we're not powering those hungry control rooms any longer. Our carbon footprint is immaculate. The grand opening of Ivan's Ethical Casino Resort begins, and yes, we're turning a profit. We did it. I mean, sort of. We did have to be absolutely horrible for ages in that campaign to even get enough money to sell up our evil operation and then funnel the funds back into a casino. But in a way, isn't that even nicer? It's like going from negative 100 on the morality scale to a plus one instead of merely zero to one. Yes. That's what I'll tell myself as I try to sleep each night reading the words scam tourists from the game's HUD and knowing that that's how all our money is actually earned here. Still, not to worry. Leave us a thumbs up if you think we managed to be good geniuses, subscribe for more, and if you've tried a similar playthrough, tell us about it in the comments. Until next time, fellow lair-dwelling schemers. Mm. <laughs>